everyone, and welcome to Warframe. <laughs> All right, so today, um, rather than doing a weapon build or a frame build, we are actually going to be doing a bit more of an informational uh, video today. And today is going to be best places for farming, um, like affinity. Um, experience in general and resources as well as um, frames from certain bosses so let's begin with uh, experience the best place to farm in for experience whether it be leveling a companion a sentinel a frame or even a weapon if you are really early game uh, player like MR Master Rank 5 or 10 and you haven't unlocked all the planets just yet the best place to be going is for right now um, doing a survival on Mercury survivals on the first three to four planets or a defense is usually one of the best ways to do it an endless mission and what an endless mission is is um, an endless mission is you go as long as you can rather than completing a certain set of objectives and then extracting because there's nothing left to do. A survival is you go as long as you can until either A, you run out of revives and you die so many times, B, the other people want to leave and they pretty much force you to leave, C, uh, you run out of life support. So in defense, you just go until either you the pod dies or you die, whichever. So, um, that's early game of doing survivals and defenses of Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars. When you get to higher levels, by then you should have Jupiter, Ceres, Saturn, and uh, Uranus unlocked. Um, and once you get to Uranus, uh, you will want to be doing the infested survival or the infested defense these are dark sector missions and what a dark sector mission is is that they give certain bonuses each one are different they give a battle pay like every other but more so than all the others they have a better resource drop rate than the others on that planet experience from kills in general and even more bonus experience from kills that you do with melee okay um these are also solar rails for others, but that'll be something we'll get into much later. So, and then by towards the end game, you certainly must have the Void, Delerict, Sedna, Pluto, and Neptune, and Ares unlocked. And when you get Ares unlocked, this is, you can have, um, this is the end game goal of where you're wanting to go, because a COD dark sector defense of Ares, the infested planet, is actually going to be where you're aiming for of your experience farming. It is the best um, once upon a time, about a year or two ago, before they upgraded the navigation uh, segment in the game, a Draco Ceres was an interception and it gave an ungodly amount of experience and it was quite nice. But it was also a pain in the ass because you also interceptions in general are just a bitch to do. Uh, you had to go to wave, you had to go to round four. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. And you also had to find a group of people that was willing to do that because soloing it was kind of a pain in the ass, to be right, right honest. So a cod. Dark sector defense, so it gives better resources, 18,000 credits, 23% more from kills in general, and even 18% more experience from melee kills itself. Now, when you are in a group, you always want to set this to public, and when you are inside of a group, there's going to be a mechanic called Tenno Share Affinity. And what this is is that you'll see like a little Tenno icon. Uh, when you're in the mission, it'll be up here, like here's your health bar up here, your mana bar or ener energy bar, uh, shields or whatever, no energy's down here, excuse me. And right up here is going to be like in your little buff area if you were to be in the mission, and it's going to be like a Tenno icon. It'll have like one, two, or three, okay? And that is showing you how much experience you are getting from allied kills, okay? You always want to make sure you are around your allies, and that's why... That Akkad does this 
a, a COD allows you to stay around your allies all the time because it is a defense. Yes, it's relatively high, but go up to wave 20 and you will, from rank 0 on a frame, with bonus experience, without a booster on, you will get to at least 15, if not 20 or 22. Because on a frame, or anything, actually for that matter, levels from 20 to 30 is the biggest pain in the ass. It's the biggest hurdle. So, without any experience boosters, going to wave 20 on a weapon will max it out. If not, it'll go to at least 20 to 22. On a frame, it'll get it to 15 to 20. On a pet or a companion or a sentinel, it'll get it up to at least 15 to 20. Okay? Uh, the reason why they change is because a frame takes twice as much as what a weapon does to get it maxed out. So, that's the experience. Now, as for farming resources, um, there are certain resources that are extremely well needed. Let me see here. Components. Alloy plate, I, ha I know it won't show it here, but I have over 3 million. And that's due to because back when Void was actually used for prime farming and that gave a shit ton of alloy plates. But the best way to do alloy plates would be literally just play anything. They are an extremely highly common drop along with ferrite. So you could run uh, Mercury for ferrite, Venus for alloy plates. Just go all over. Earth's ferrite. It changes, it variates. Thank you, Mother. Space mother, piss off for a second. Thank you, thank you. So um, it just it just depends on the things. They are extremely easily uh, obtained, both alloy plates and ferrite. So they're not that hard to get. Argon crystals. The only way to get argon crystals is to go to the void. And the best way to do this is do either a survival, a capture, or an exterminate, and you want to break open every single container, open up every single locker you can find, and just break everything. Because they, it's the best way to get out of them. Otherwise, I'd say do, like, survival, any survival, will go as long as you can, and it has a, has a, a decent chance to drop from, from higher level enemies. Okay, so... But the unfortunate part is, Argon Crystals, they deteriorate over time, unfortunately. And this is due to because they, Argon Crystals, are native to the Void Energy. And if they're taken out of the Void Energy, they disintegrate in 24 hours after being obtained. Circuits. Circuits are a digital-like resource, so anywhere that is a Corpus planet, such as Mars, Jupiter, Neptune, I don't know if... Pluto is? Yeah, Pluto must be. Neptune. Yeah, they're both. Okay. These are the best places to get circuits from. Well, never mind about Neptune. Never mind about Pluto. Never mind about Jupiter. Where the hell does it drop? I know it was one of these three. Venus. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I'm a dunce today. They switched up the drop tables on me. <laughs> Venus. Venus is the best place for circuits. Uh, do a defense of uh, do Romula or the Dark Sector survival because it gives a better drop chance rate. And circuits. Circuits is like a rare common drop. Like, they're not absurdly rare, like an Argon Crystal, but they are there. Um, actually, there might be a better way for me to look at this. Not that operator equipment. Uh, do we have resources in here? Extractor, keys, resources. Okay, so, control modules best way to do them is to just farm the void, farm Pluto, farm Neptune, and do survivals, do defenses. They are, even though that they are a rare drop, they are the most common rare resource to find. As you can see, I've 
played long enough to get that much, and they're supposed to be extremely rare. Cryotic. Cryotic is obtained through doing an excavation. One of the best places to do uh, to excavate for cryotic is to do the excavation on Earth. Uh, best place for cryotic is the excavation on Earth. And this is simply because of um, A, every, every, the, the, the longer the excavators go on for, it's an endless mission, just like a survival or defense. And for every 100, it gives you a bonus. And the more time that these things go off for, the more cryotic you get. For every fully done thing, you'll get 100 cryotic. Um, you'll get maybe 1,500 to 2,000 um, if you can successfully complete the whole thing in general. Um, it gets pretty hairy after a while, but it's it's very useful. And unfortunately, that's the only place you can get cryotic. Uh, let's see here. What is a, another one? Detonite injectors. Okay. Detonite injectors. Them and Feldrons. Detonite injectors and Feldrons. If you are in a clan, you can go into the dojo. Okay. And go into the 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 Grenier lab and the Corpus lab, buy the blueprints and, and build them yourself. The other way, a more efficient way to do them, is to go through the invasions and complete three missions for one invasion. And when that invasion is completed, you will get three Feldrons in your inboxes, battle pay, or the same with mutagen masses, um, debt night injectors. The invasions are the best way to get uh, those resources. Now. What is the next one? Ferrite, same as Alloy Plates, just play through everything. Gallium. Gallium, when I first started, was a pain in the ass to get. But, after a while, it didn't become that bad. Uh, go to Mars for Gallium. Uh, do I, This time, I wouldn't actually suggest doing the Dark Sectors. Because every time I've done the Dark Sector for uh, rare resource hunting, usually doesn't do that. It's better for dropping like the uncommon and common resources. Find the uh, survival on Mars, which used to actually be a Corpus planet, and, Fan and Phobos used to be a Grenier planet, but they switched them now. So, <laughs> that happened. Alright, next up... Ah, Kuva. Okay. The reason why I'm skipping some of these is because, um, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, some of these are either obtained through scans and are quest related and are not commonly needed. Others are relics of old events that are no longer around or have yet to come back. Okay. Kuva. Kuva is a, one of the newest resources implemented into the game. And you get it through doing Kuva missions. And this is actually from completing the War with Inquest. And Kuva is used in a, a fairly wide arrangement of, of sorts. Primarily for rerolling Riven mods, which is another thing you will all unlock after completing the War Within quest. Now, this is the Kuva Fortress, something you unlock after the War Within. And the best way to find Kuva missions to farm them is look for the Kuva Fortress and whatever planets that it's near, it will have Kuva missions. Now the Kuva missions will give maybe about 120 to 500 and then the Kuva floods, which are extremely hard to do, but will yield about 1,000 to 2,000 Kuva. And these are amplified by resource boosters. So, that's always useful. Now, Morphics. Extremely common for a resource, a rare resource drop. Best way to get them is to go to Mars, or not Mars, Mercury, and do the survival here, which there should have been one. Yep, boom, there you go. That's one. 
Uh, do a survival in Mars is the best way to do them. Inventory. Um, uh, mutagen samples, those come from Ares. Uh, but they're not really useful in anything. The samples do not do very much. The detonite amples are used to make detonite injectors. Uh, feldron and mutagen samples are used to make feldrons and mutagen mu mutagens, basically. The Mutalist Allied V coordinates. These are obtained commonly through doing invasions. Do three and it will award you one key. Now, one is considered a key, and you do this to go and farm the uh, Mesa quest, or Patient Zero quest, I believe. It's the quest that allows you to go and grab Mesa, okay, from Infested Allied V, or Mutalist Allied V. So invasions are the best ways to get them. Nanospores um, are extremely easy to do. Um, let me find a planet here that does it. Usually they come from infested planets. Nanospores, I mean. Okay, so nanospores are the easiest way to get them is by doing the survival, the infested survival on Ares, rather than the defense, because you can explore more, open up more crates and everything like that. Um, if you do not have this planet unlocked, ask someone to taxi you. By taxi, I mean have someone take you to that mission and do it with you. And once you complete that mission, that mission or planet should be unlocked unto you. Now, um, neural sensors. Neural sensors are not really difficult to farm. But the best way to do them is by doing the survivals on Jupiter. Okay? The best way to do them is doing Jupiter. Find the survival on there, and that would be the best place for them. Um, the next one, I believe, is what I saw was Neurodes. Yes, Neurodes. Okay? Neurodes can be obtained from two different sources. Either buying a blueprint and building them, which is highly inefficient from what I've learned but can come in handy in a pinch if you absolutely needed one but neurodes are believe it or not the hardest rare resource to farm and the best way to get them is either the Delirate Earth or Ares and Ares of course the survival or defense seems to be the best place for me to get them that's where I've always had the best of luck Nitane extract. Okay, so nitane is obtained from two sources. Originally, it was a uh, an alert only resource, which once in a while you would see it up here. If you had the mission to do the mission, if you had the node for it um, in the background, or if you had the mission for it unlocked, you could do it. If not, you would have to ask someone to do it for you. The way to now, they've upgraded it to where you can actually farm it, but it is even harder than Neurodes to farm. And the way you do that is you go to Strybos, or Strybog, which is in a sabotage. Each cache has a 2% chance of dropping a Nightane. Okay. So Nightane is used in a variety of things, highly Vob and Prime, um, but in a variety of other weapons and frames. But Strybog is where you can farm it, and alerts are always rare, but it's usually about three alerts a day. 
and they are guaranteed. Yeah, I won't. Aroken cells. Okay. Okay, so Aroken cells are common, moderately so, but the best place I've ever found them is Saturn, doing the survivals on Saturn. Ceres is another good one to do. Ceres and Saturn are oftentimes the best place for Aroken cells. And the reason why I always say survivals or defense is because you can go as long as you as you possibly can as as you want, and it increases the levels as they go. And it the higher their levels, the higher the chance of them dropping something good. Now, oxium. Okay. Oxium can be found from one enemy and one enemy only. An Oxium Osprey. And these little suckers are found anywhere that is a corpus planet. Venus, Phobos, um, Jupiter. I don't think Europa is one. Oh yeah, Europa is one. <laughs> Europa, Neptune, Pluto. And what makes it tricky to get is because they once they spot you they they charge at you they're they're kamikaze little bastards and if they explode up on you and you didn't kill them when they explode you don't get the oxum and what's more is that it's it's it only drops about 10 or 15 maybe 20 if you're lucky per kill so that's where you find them Plastids. Plastids are found uh, very easily so in Ares. Um, another good place would be Saturn. Okay. Or Uranus. Um, the other one was polymer bundles. Now, polymer bundles are actually relatively common. Uh, they're an uncommon drop of resource. But they are also uh, easily found on Asur, which is the defense dark sector, or not this dark sector survival on uh, Uranus. This is the best mission for um, polymer bundles. Okay, and the last one I've seen would be salvage. And the best way to get salvage is, well, Jupiter would be my best, uh, my best experience would be Jupiter, because you can do low-level survivals and go eons on end on the survival, and by the end of it, you'll have like 5,000 salvage in one run within 20 minutes if you have a good salvage if you have a resource booster and a drop chance booster then it'll be about 20,000 I'm not even kidding one time I did a 40 minute mission with both of those burst boosters active bursters <laughs> and I ended up getting about 32,000 salvage which comes in really handy okay now that is the end of the resource farming now, one other thing I'd like to mention is Endo. Endo is a more or less a mod fusion fuel. Okay, it is used to make it. It is used to make mods better. Okay, it upgrades mod. It's it's fusion fuel for for mods. Okay. Now there are a numerous ways of getting Endo. Um, one way is by completing little alerts that come up that give you like little piddly amounts. Um, well, this is good for like an R3 and R5, but for R5, for R10 mods, like a vitality or redirection or even a primed R10 mod, that's not the best way to do it. 
best way to get them is by having a ten treasures, gem them up, and then go to Maru's Bazaar. Good job, I guess. Uh, then go to Maru's Bazaar on Earth, find Maru herself, and go and sell them to her for a couple thousand endo. And you can also, once a week, go to Maru and ask her to give you a quest to go Aetin treasure hunting. This is a guaranteed treasure find. You just have to go into wherever she sends you, complete the treasure room, and get the treasure. Go back to your ship, gym it up, go back to her, and sell it. The other way is to go and get, take a whole bunch of these duplicate mods, okay, say 50, and you can sell them for endo. And if you have as many mods as I have, then you'll get easily like 5,000 endo if you sell like maybe 200, 300 mods, which, and it isn't hard <laughs> when you have as many duplicates as I have. Uh, I find that actually much more efficient than selling them for uh, credits, but it does come in handy in a quick pinch. The best way to farm Endo would actually to be... Uh, where is it? Must be on Pluto. Uh, da, 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 da. Ah, here we go. Hiracon. Hiracon is the best place to get Endo because it has, every time you complete a excavator, it gets to 100% and it's done and explodes on its own. You get 100 Cryotic. Every time it does one of that, it has a chance to drop 400 Endo and that is actually a really rare or really common drop on the drop tables. So if you manage to do, like say, 10 or 20 fully done excavators, you'll easily get like 2,000 endo, if not more. And I do not know if endo is actually affected by resource boosters, but down in the comments below, confirm that for me, would you please? Thank you. Now, one last thing before we wrap this up and call it a day is boss farming, okay? Now, we'll go to each of these planets, okay, and I will exp what the hell? Oh, my chair. <laughs> I will go and explain the best way to farm any and each one of these bosses, okay, and what they drop. First off, we'll begin with the easiest mission, or easiest boss, I would say, is Mercury. The boss here is Tostolge, and he is Captain Vor. He doesn't drop a frame, but he does drop his secondary, the Seer. It's a powerful secondary. Its accuracy isn't the greatest, and neither is its reload. But its damage is nice, and if nothing else, it makes good mastery fodder. Venus. Where are you? Fossa. The Jackal. The Jackal, is, these are assassination missions, the, boss, uh, the bosses that you have to go and kill. And the Jackal drops Rhino, okay? A lot of my farming... Uh, or farming uh, build videos you've seen me use Rhino Prime to get his normal counterpart Fossa Jackal that's the best way to get him okay and the all these by the way drop the parts the helmet the systems the chassis but the blueprints themselves you can buy from the market Earth Oro is no, they heck Now he is an ugly motherfucker to begin with, and he's also aka Turkey Frame. And this is because they heck, if you are not experienced and do not have good equipment, he is the biggest bitch to kill in history of this freaking game. And this is simply because A, you have to be at least Master Rank 5 to even begin the mission to begin with. And two is that he flies around and you can only damage him when he opens up his faceplate. But once you actually bring him to his third stage and get him down and then he becomes his little turkey frame, then you can shoot him wherever the hell you please. But one of the parts that really, like, makes him the hardest to do, besides the having to 
waddle about and wait for him to open up his face plate and do the damage before he closes back up again is that he saps your energy. He's the biggest pain in the ass. So using like fast, widespread, or target tracking weapons like the Quanta or the Boar or anything like that will hit him pretty easily. Okay, the Amperex is actually one of the best guns to use against him. Believe it or not, because it's 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 target tracking and it's AOE. So and it does a nice amount of damage. So I'd say the Amperex is the best way to farm the farm him. And what he drops is actually Hydroid parts. He drops Hydroid, which I have Hydroid Prime, but the normal Hydroid comes from him. There is no boss on Lua, so that is actually unlocked to a quest. Mars is... Where are you? War. Lich Krill. Um, okay. Lich Krill is an irritating boss. You have to shoot the tubes off his back and just keep doing it and doing it and doing it. And he's a pain in the ass because he's literally invulnerable unless you shoot the tubes off his back. Um, but he drops frost parts. Phobos is the... Where the hell? Um, where are you? Oh, there we go. Lad. The, um, the sergeant. He drops mag. Okay. We go to Ceres. And Ceres is... Not you. Ludi? No. There we go, extra. Okay, now this time you're going to be facing both Lich Krill and Captain Vor. And, um, ah, shite. I actually forget the frame that he drops. I want to say Ember. No, that's not Ember. Um, not Excalibur. What does he drop? Nova. He drops Nova parts, I think. I think. It's been a while since I've done that boss mission. Okay. The boss on Jupiter is Alad V. Okay. And he drops um, Valkyr. Europa, the boss on here. Where are you? No, you're not one. Where is the boss mission? There you are. The Raptor. Okay, the Raptor drops... Oh. Nova, I believe. He drops Nova, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong. Some of these I'm a little iffy on. But he drops Nova, I believe. And... These guys, I'm not sure what they drop. I know they drop something, but I... Frick me sideways if I can remember what the hell it is. Say, Saturn is Ember. I know that much. Saturn is Ember. And... Where are you? No? Where the hell's the boss mission? There you are. Yeah, he's, he's an ugly bastard. Okay. Uranus. Um... Okay, Uranus drops Equinox. And Equinox is the biggest pain in the ass to farm because... Would you look at you? Worthless, ugly freaks! Says the one who's cloned and degenerate to frickin' back. Uh, now, Equinox is the biggest pain in the farm, in the ass to farm, because Equinox is technically two Warframes in one. You have to get the helmet, systems, and chassis for the night, aspect and then the day aspect then you got to farm the blueprints for both of the day and night aspect build those and then take those aspects with the blueprint and build the warframe itself okay major pain in the ass now where is the boss on this one really i'm sure neptune has a boss Oh, 
There it is. Okay. Um, the assassination. What? Uh, okay. So, real quick, um, even though this isn't the right place, uh, Forid, which is an infested assassination. Okay. Forid, which is an infested invasion mission on an assassination node. And that actually drops Nyx, okay, which is the psychic Warframe. And then, let's see here. Okay, this guy drops Excalibur, I believe. Yes, this guy drops Excalibur. And then for Necros, you have to farm the boss and uh, you have to farm Lyamphus. Okay. Uh, Lampfus. Yeah. Or Lampfantus. Uh, I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce his name that right. But that's where you go to farm Necros. Sedna. Oh, where is your... Come on. Where are you? There you are. I can tell you understand what an honor this will be. To have your tiny neck snapped by the Kayla de Thame. That's why you're so eager. I ah. Anyway, so Kayla de Thame drops Saren. So Sedna is Saren. Europa. Did we already do Europa? I cannot remember. I want to say we did. Yeah, Raptor. Okay, so here's how we do. Mercury is the Seer's weapon. Venus is Rhino. Earth is Hydroid. Ares. Ares. Um. Oh, okay. Ares drops. Uh, actually, two different uh, Warframes. Uh, I would be assassinate. That's for the Mesa quest. The Jordis Golem assassinate, which drops uh, Atlas. Which, that's from another quest. And then there is... Uh, not a hive. Uh, there's one mission that you use to farm uh, Nidus in here as well. But you have to do that through a quest. Okay. Phobos is Mag. Mars is Frost. Ceres is... I don't know, actually. <laughs> that's the one I do not know. The Delrict is uh, Necros. Pluto, which one's Pluto? Hades, Ambulus. Pluto is Excalibur. Neptune is Loki. Uranus is Equinox. Saturn is Ember. Jupiter is Valkyr. And Europa is Nova. The Void does not have a boss. Okay. But all the other frames that I have not mentioned are all quest warframes or primes. Okay. So that is that. Um, we covered the boss drops, the boss places, endo, um, experience. Oh, yes, and credits. Credits, is, the best place to do them is to actually just go to series do semini series which the battle the battle pay is 2000 20 000 credits so it's just it's just defense just go in there go to wave 10 exit and go in exit in exit okay and it gives you 20 000 credits at the end of each one and so at the end of maybe an hour of running this 20 minutes to an hour of running this going in five waves complete out wash, rinse, and repeat, you have maybe 200,000 credits to 500,000 credits, if not more, okay? The, if you are a higher ranked and you're, you, you have good gear and you have a couple of friends you can run it with, the index. High, uh, the index is the best place to do because you have to, unfortunately, you have to pay 75,000 credits to get in, but if you can actually get to 100 within the thing when time runs out okay you get 200,000 credits so that's that's really good 
That is really good. Okay, so we've concluded everything. Um, we've done credits, endo, boss farming, and resources. So, yeah. I believe that's it. If you guys have any questions on where you want to find something, or what happened to something else, or where to go for this, or where to go for that, down in the comments below, and I will answer you as soon as I can. Okay? If, if it's like a too big of a thing just for a short answer then I will end up making a video about that thing solely so anyway I will see all of you in the next one thank you for watching hit the like button if you do like it or if you found this informational or helpful hit the subscribe button so that way you know where um, so that way you'll know whenever a new video comes out as you'll be booped your phone will 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 make a noise your phone will be booped <laughs> for whenever new things come out so anyway, thank you everybody for watching, and as always, I will see all of you in the next one. Toodles!